So I just finished recording a video uh, that got very technical on server side of stuff and basically talking about a website I recently went to uh, that was a website for, for children. I was checking out stuff for my kids and um, I always examine every website I go to and I found that this website was uh, accidentally sharing all the user information. Uh, so like all these kids that were logging in, I could see their, their real names their birth dates, the last time they logged in, their email address, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, I've contacted that website to let them know. Hopefully they'll do something about it. Um, but I've created this example of a similar thing. And this is going to be a quick, as non-technical as possible, um, demonstration on things you should do on any website you go to just to learn more. Um, but if your children are going to a website, definitely. So this is pretend. I made up these fake comments, put them in the database, wrote some code to send it so it displays on the web page here. And uh, this is similar to what's going on on that real website. Okay, so we see, you know, <clears throat> usernames, when the comment came through, what the comment was, and their avatar, right? So, so not a big deal. No, no real private information in there. The kids can be chatting. But just because you're not seeing stuff in the web page doesn't mean that the server isn't sending stuff to your web browser that it shouldn't. So this is what we're going to do. I'm using Brave, which is a Chromium-based browser. So if you're using Chrome, Chromium, Brave, or one of the many browsers based on Chrome, you can open up the developer's tools uh, by usually hitting F12 or Control-Shift-I if you don't have an F12. If you have Firefox or some other browsers, they have them as well. It might be a different key, but here we're going to hit F12. And what it does is it opens up your developer's console, and you'll probably get something like this. What you want to do is look for this tab right here that says network. Also, this is on the side here. It might be at the bottom of the screen, but just look for something that says network. Okay? And at this point, if I refresh the page, it shows me everything that's being sent to the web page, uh, to my web browser. The pictures uh, right here. So if I go actually go to the response, okay, so it's not showing the pictures. But these are the links to the pictures, um, the output from the database that's being sent. Uh, and all the code that's being sent. Now, most of this you probably don't care about unless you're trying to get a picture off a web page that you can't, which is just one way of doing it. But what we're going to do is we're going to click XHR. So that will narrow it down a lot. XHR is going to be information, uh, important information sent to your, to your computer. Lots of times it's from a database. So again, we're looking at here, we see usernames, we see dates, comments, and avatars. If I click on the comments here, you can see here, we can ch check these little boxes and see what's going on. Again, information being sent from the server, username, the date the comment was, com the comment, which is fine. That's all information we see on the page. Now, if we click on this get user data bad, which again, this is my example code, but very similar to what I've seen on a real website. Come in here, I can start clicking on this. And when I expand these out, you can see I can actually right click on this and say expand recursively and it will expand them all out. That even though you're on the web page, I'm not seeing it. I can see well, this user, I can see their email address, I can see their status as a child, I can see uh, the date their account was created, I can see their date of birth and their real name. Again, this is made up information, this is an example I made, but this is something that I've seen on real websites. Okay? And again, this is just to try to be as non-technical as possible in a Chrome browser, hit F12, go to network, XHR. If nothing's there, refresh the page and then just look at it. You, you, you don't have to understand every aspect of this, but you, if you start seeing other people's personal information, phone numbers, email addresses, credit card numbers, you need to stop using that site and you need to let them know. That, that's an important thing. You need to let them know because they may not know. The company that I've contacted, it's, it's a, reputable, a reputable company. Why am I having trouble saying that? It's a big company that's been around for years, has done lots of stuff, good stuff for kids. They probably had no clue. Hopefully, my email gets through to somebody who could fix it. And again, in my previous video where I got more technical, it's literally just like a few lines of code they might have to change to fix this. It's just like a typo they made that would dump all this information. And hopefully, they, they fix it quickly. Um, but yeah, if you have kids, definitely check out the website, but also just learn to learn a little bit more about how web pages work. I mean, it's very clear. It says right here, username, that's the username, email address, that's email. And it has one for each user in this particular case, but all websites, all websites, if you go here, 
XHR and refresh almost every single website, I won't say all, but almost every single website will have information that's being sent to your web browser. Not all of it's showing up on the screen. So you can learn a lot and you might find things that, uh, that they don't want you to find um, that, that they're sending by accident or they need to send but they don't want you to see. And it's your web browser. You're not doing anything wrong. You're not hacking their server. This is information they are sending to your computer. So check that out again. I hope it, it, that's 30 seconds to do that. It, oh, uh, yeah, also you should be able to search through this information. So again, uh, I open it up by hitting F12, going to network, XHR, refresh. Um, let's see if I can type in, okay, so the, the filter looks at the, the names of stuff. Um, you can also right click this and download the information and then look through it in the text editor if you want. Um, but uh, yeah, oh, here we go, email, there we go. So what I did was I clicked over here, I hit control F for find, it brought up this little find bar, and then you can start looking for stuff. So like if you know your personal information, you can type in like yahoo.com, and you can start finding where yahoo.com is listed in this stuff. Now it may not be bad if you're seeing your own email address, that, that might be fine because it might be displaying that on the web page for you, but if you start seeing other people's email addresses and you shouldn't, well there you go. Um, but that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.